Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for some royal tea. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, Megan, Megan and Harry, but especially Megan, I wish I had been able to print this bigger, uh, were somewhat isolated at Charles' 50th investiture uh, as Prince of Wales. So for 50 years, Charles has been Prince of Wales. And the body language is just all over the place. And this is, um, this is being, this is the picture. Okay, so the Queen and Charles have their back. They're giving her the full back. Camilla's giving her the full back. Um, Kate never spoke a word to Megan during this time. Uh, and she, it looks to me like she is so hyper-conscious of the presence of Megan there. Uh, William also feels like he... Uh, his consciousness is on Megan. Okay, Megan is way at the outside. She's playing way left field. Okay, she's playing left out at this point. Uh, Harry, his head is tilted toward her. That's good, but he's got a really grim look on his face. Like, uh... Okay, and so... Um, when there's a point uh, in this when Charles, when Megan tried to speak to Charles, she reached out to him to touch his arm and say something, you know, polite conversation, and he just bolted past her. He barely engaged her. It was like a nanosecond. When uh, Megan tried to engage William, he wasn't having it at all. She, he wouldn't speak to her. Kate never spoke a word to her. Camilla, when uh, Megan was passing right after this shot, when Megan is passing in front of Camilla, Camilla just looks down at her feet. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's... The body language is bad. Okay, right now. And... And... Here's the question. Why... Okay, at Christmas at Sandringham... They made a big show. Uh, the the Royals made a big show of how close they were. They had Megan and Kate together, and they were they were touching each other and whispering to each other and laughing as they're walking into the church. That was very intentional, and people felt that that was kind of show. There's not even a show here. She's way on the outside now. And Harry is looking very grim, and people are turning their backs to her and not speaking to her. So something is up. Let's, let's read an article a little bit. A body language expert analyzed the royals yesterday and said Meghan Markle was isolated. I completely agree. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, Kate Middleton, and Prince William attended their first group event since Christmas. Okay, the Christmas... Uh, they went into the church, Christmas at Sandringham, they went into the church, and that's where they were together. Uh, that's the last time. A body, so three months. A body language expert says they, and, and Megan and Harry weren't, aren't godparents, and then they weren't uh, invited to Kate's birthday party, and Megan didn't invite Kate to her bash in New York, and boy, I bet Kate is glad she didn't go. Okay, a body language expert says they were distant, and Meghan was isolated. Yesterday, Meghan Markle, Prince Harry... Uh, blah, 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 okay, but uh, okay, but according to body language ex expert Judy James, the vibes were weird. Instead of displaying a clear show of solidarity, like they did over the holidays during peak royal feud season, Judy says Meghan and Harry were removed from the group. They're like outside. Harry is drifting toward the group here, and Meghan is really outside, and... Harry looks like he's being drawn toward his family. He's being drawn toward her family. And she, Megan, is being drawn away from the family in, this, in that photo. 
the two women used wide smiles and tactile behavior at Christmas in a bid to put rumors of a rift to bed once and for all, which makes their rather distant behavior here all the more curious, Judy explains. I quite agree. Queuing for the meet and greet, Harry and Meghan stood behind William and Kate, and, all the and although the husbands spoke to their wives, there seemed to be no sign of Harry and William's usual banter or chat. That's a big deal. Judy also noticed that Harry looks grim-faced and Meghan seemed isolated. Okay. Let's, let's take a look here. We must take a look at this. Okay, let's look at the Royals and Megan, a relationship spread here. Let's just get sort of a baseline. What's going on? The Royals, the Crown, and Megan. What kind of, let's try to get a feel for what's going on here. Strength, cornerstone, boy, they're solid as a rock. Ruler, king, the crown, Megan, conflict, city, hand in hand, okay. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, so what are we seeing here for the crown? Write this down. Royals, Megan. Okay, Megan's showing the conflict. They're showing, the Royals are showing just solid, really solid. The crown is very solid and strong. 24, 28, 7 spades, secrets. They're keeping it all to themselves. So they're really solid. They're really together. They're not showing conflict. They are a united front, and they're keeping everything, the conflict, a secret. That's interesting. Megan is showing conflict right here on the surface. Scourge is conflict. City, hand in hand. Conflict, be okay, because of the, I think this is the New York City trip. City, New York City. Okay, conflict over the New York City trip, and... People reacting to it. Nine and eight is uh, 17. Yeah, nine and eight, 17, five hearts. Okay, five hearts is fence sitter reacting. They're reacting to the conflict about, you know, this very public thing to New York City. Interesting. So they're, they're upset about that. Let's look at Harry and William. Because that is a very important relationship. They are brothers. Charles is their father. You know, big deal. Uh, it's a big deal. What's going on between Harry and William? Harry. Mm, interesting. William. No, no. I did it wrong. I have to do it over. Because I wanted to do... This is William, and that's Harry. And those cards looked to me like William. Very poor. William, and then Harry on the right with Megan. Let's put it up here. William Harry Okay Okay All right so Harry is showing as isolated with secrets 16 17, again, five hearts. Uh, mustard seed and high tower isolated because of secrets. Reacting to secrets and isolation and mustard seed. M 
Mustard seed is a, a note, a letter, something planted. Hmm, let's see what William, what's going on with William over here. The cup overflowing, very emotional about their, their brothers, and he's very emotional about it. 16, four spades. He's very emotional. He feels like the relationship is just dead. Okay, currently, four clubs is very opportunistic. He's just feeling like the relationship is dead between them. Right now. Okay, right now. The foundation is just dead. But he's very committed to Harry as a brother. Okay, uh, interesting. So William is showing all the emotion over here. And William is showing all the commitment. And William is showing that he's the strong one. Uh, and Harry is just keeping everything a secret. Okay, that's what's going on. He's just not telling them what's going on. Okay, mustard seed is uh, is is messages and talking and notes. Okay, they're not connecting. Harry is isolating and keeping everything a secret to protect Megan. That's what's going on. Okay, there's terrible, terrible, terrible body language. And there's two possibilities. One is that the royals feel very betrayed by Megan. Okay, Megan is doing all kinds of nefarious deeds. She went to New York. She was looking for, I've heard, that she was looking for, a, you know, a very expensive uh, apartment, downtown New York City. Okay, that's one thing. And the other thing I heard is she's consulting with lawyers. You know, how do I get all I can? You know, how do I protect myself if I'm going to divorce? Okay, and both of those things are Megan taking care of herself behind the scenes. And, you know, you could say, oh, well, you know, she's just a really sharp woman. And she is a really sharp woman. But taking those steps... She is manifesting those things, okay? She's not just, it's not just in case, okay? By taking those steps at this time, it moves the ball in the direction of she's going to leave, she's going to get an apartment, she's going to file for divorce. Um, okay, so are they feeling like really betrayed, okay? Do the royals feel really betrayed like this woman is really betraying them because here's the New York City trip. Is that it? Are they, is that why they're so cold to her? They're just feeling really betrayed, really betrayed. Okay, because they brought her into the royal family and uh, it seemed like a pretty cool thing. Pretty great opportunity. I mean, every step is history in the making. So, okay. So is it because they're feeling betrayed? Blockage and roses. Butterfly. Butterfly is for the public, very public. Hamster wheel, the day to day. Okay, so for the public, they're going to show a sweet face. They're trying to show a sweet face, but they couldn't even do a sweet face. They're just really blocking her out. Interesting. This doesn't say betrayal. It just says every day, you know, there's a lot of, uh, it's just, it's just a daily grind for them right now. They're not able to show the sweet face now. They're, they weren't even able to show a united sweet face in public, which is the whole point of this is that. They're together again. Oh, everybody's lovey-dovey. Show the world that it, it's one big happy family. And they didn't even succeed at that. Okay, they didn't even play the role. Here's, you know, Megan's an actress, an actor, and she couldn't, they didn't do it. I think Megan did her part. She was trying to talk to people and everybody just snubbed her. They just couldn't, they just couldn't deal. Okay, the other thing is, uh, I've heard of constant, let's just ask, are Harry and Meghan, you know, constantly fighting? That's the, okay, so, well, big change in the love. That wanted to fall out. I gotta back up here. 
Okay, so karmic shift and two hearts just fell out. Uh, and we'll add that to the spread. Are Meghan and Harry just constantly fighting in the palace? Because they're not at Frogmore yet. Is it just constant conflict? They're just constantly fighting, you know, and it's a it's a grim, you know, grit your teeth and bear it. And, and because of this, uh, another aide has quit. Another one. That makes four. Uh, so... Are, are Meghan and Harry constantly fighting in the palace? Is that what's going on? That's an interesting spread. Okay, is it constant fighting? Hmm. Mercury, cornucopia, magi, manifesting. This is very interesting. 21, 30. Okay, 30 is eight diamonds. Money, money. It's all about the money. Uh, living that opulent life style. Okay, the New York trip and living that opulent lifestyle and just blinging it all over the place like what do you mean you just spent a half a million dollars on a single trip and you flew on a private uh, jet and everybody in the world just saw it okay you're making us look bad and yeah so that I did not realize the New York trip was that big a deal they're really upset about this they are really because the New York trip and spending all the money keeps coming up that's the that's the big deal. Reacting. Okay, so five hearts, lovers, and karmic shift. A big change in the in the close relationship. Reacting to a big change in the in the love relationship with Harry and Meghan. Okay, so that's what I was getting at. I said, are Harry and Meghan fighting all the time? Well, there is a big change has happened in the love relationship between these two, and it's normal for uh the brother and you know uh William and Kate they were very close to Harry you can see it in the pictures uh i would i was wondering if they felt defensive so yes there is a big change in Harry's relationship with Meghan and they're reacting to this but the other aspect of it which i didn't realize was so important was the bling 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 jet setting all over the world look i'm 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 the Duchess of Sussex. Look, I'm the Duchess of Sussex. Look, I'm still the Duchess of Sussex. You know, and this is a really big deal to them. 1730, it's all, it's the money. It's the extravagant spending of the money. And Mercury is uh, electronic television and King of Diamonds. The King of Diamonds uh, was kind of like the Donald Trump card, you know, just excessively wealthy and powerful. Uh, that's kind of how I used to see it in the beginning. And and in readings about Trump, I expect the Magi to show up. He also shows up as the Fox. But um, so she's just living so big. And man, they really, she's embarrassing them. She's embarrassing the Royals. And it's just really bad for them. And they just don't, like it. Okay, one more question. Do they feel that... Uh, let me just make sure. Okay. Do they feel that Megan is betraying them behind their backs? Do they feel that she is just... You know, she's nice to their face and she's just stabbing them in the back every chance she gets. Okay, because if she's looking for an apartment, if she's you know, talking to lawyers about the divorce, that's really backstabbing behavior. It doesn't matter what anybody says. Well, I asked, do they feel betrayed? I asked, do they feel betrayed? Do they feel that Megan is just a treacherous person? Do they do they just not trust Megan? 
is that because the money's a big deal and it's there's a lot of trouble in the relationship do they feel that she's just just can't be trusted is that what's going on because i'm trying to get down to the bottom of this okay incubus succubus star bethlehem crossroads seven diamonds Okay. Do they just feel that Megan is just treacherous and untrustworthy? She just can't be trusted. She's going to be nice to your face. She's acting when she's with you. Is that what's going on? Incubus succubus, is, this is the most selfish relationship. Okay, crossroads, decisions, and physically going out to the crossroads. Two sevens, sevens return endlessly. Finger of God changes things. Her selfishness has really changed things. It's really changed the direction. It's really changed the relationships and made them. They just feel that she. They feel that she is very selfish. Okay, and she is exhibiting a tremendous amount of selfishness right now. She's exhibiting too much selfishness. Um, you know, with this New York City trip, and it's making them look bad. And she's like. I think she doesn't care. And there's a lot of, yeah, I, I mean, I've, I, I've known women like this, like Megan. Uh, they're not, she's not a team player. She's very clearly not a team player. She's not playing on the team with the Royals and she's not playing on the team with Harry. And literally everything she says goes against the history of the Royals. She always sides against the Royals, you know, for... For, you know, these very special, very minor special interest groups that don't represent the United Kingdom and don't represent the history, the beautiful history of the royals and their culture. She always goes against it. Okay, she's not a team player. Okay, so do they feel that Megan is treacherous and untrustworthy? They feel that she's very selfish and this is like a continuous thing. It's a continuous thing, and crossroads is always two or more, kind of, this could be speaking with a forked tongue, being not honest and truthful, but it's constant. These sevens, they just cycle endlessly, and they never stop. Twelve, eighteen, five diamonds, and it's escalating. Hmm. Yeah, another five. Two fives, two sevens. So, the changes, it's, it's step by step, and it's constant, and it's and and it's it's constantly changing she's very very selfish they view her as very selfish and not a team player that's that's a big issue for them because they're a family how can you show unity as a family if someone is not like is only united with you they say they're united with you but all their actions are against you okay so let's let's review the royals and megan Okay, solid as a rock. They're keeping it all secret. Seven spades. They're keeping it all secret. But they, the royals are united. And that's what we're seeing in the body language. That's exactly what we're seeing. And Harry is tilting. He's moving toward that united group because that's who he is. That's who he is from birth. And that's still who he is. Okay, even though he's married to Megan, he's, only his head is tilting towards Megan. On Megan's side, it's all this conflict over the opulence and what people are saying about the New York City trip. They just really hate it. That's created a huge conflict. That's the latest conflict. Okay, William and Harry. William is showing all the unity and the love. And he's going to be there for his brother. This is my brother. I love you. I love you, Harry. You're my brother. But he just feels like it's dead right now. Okay, Harry is keeping everything a secret because he doesn't want to betray Megan. So he's keeping everything a secret. He's not telling anybody anything and he's isolating himself. So they're just kind of waiting for this to break. And I think what's going to happen is he's going to have to choose the Royal family or he's going to have to choose Megan or Megan is going to have to come into the Royal family and 
be united with them. They're a family. Okay, are the royals feeling betrayed? Blocked because of, yeah, they, it's just constant. Two spades and five spades. They just, uh, they're just separating. Okay, they're trying to put a face on it and be nice. They're trying to play nice, but they're just kind of, they're doing exactly what we see here. They're not, they're, they, they are reserving judgment. They're just kind of staying away so you can't, you know, like a boxer stays out of reach. They're just staying out of reach. Are Meghan and Harry constantly fighting? Is that what's going on? Well, there's big, been a big change. They are reacting to the big change between Meghan and Harry. So the relationship is not going well. But again, it's all about, it's about the bling, 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 bling that Meghan is doing. Okay, they just, that's the big deal right now. Do they feel that Megan is really untrustworthy and treacherous? They feel that she's very selfish and it just is constant. Her selfishness is just too much. So she either has to come back with them or, or they're going to split apart because Harry's got to stick with his family or it's going to be Wallace Simpson all over again. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Uh, please feel free to like, share, subscribe.